please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Asynchronous programming in Python has become increasingly popular, especially with the advent of the Asyncio module. Django, a powerful web framework for Python, also supports asynchronous views starting from version 3.1. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use async slash await with Django REST framework, DRF, to build asynchronous APIs. Make sure you have the following installed. Let's start by creating a new Django project and a Django app. Now, add rest underscore framework and async underscore drf underscore tutorial dot async underscore API to your installed underscore apps in settings dot py. Create a new file views dot py inside the async underscore API app. This view contains an asynchronous function, async underscore task, that simulates an asynchronous task, such as making an async database query or fetching data from an external API. Configure the URLs to include the new view in urls.py. Include these URLs in the main urls.py. Run the Django development server. Visit http slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash api slash async slash in your browser or use a tool like curl or hpi to make a request. You should receive a response after a two second delay. In this tutorial, we explored how to use async slash await with Django REST framework to create asynchronous views. This can be particularly useful when dealing with i slash o bound tasks to improve the responsiveness and scalability of your Django application. Experiment with more complex asynchronous tasks and integrate them into your asynchronous views to harness the full power of asynchronous programming in Django. Chat GPT